peoples. It's the end of summer and I'm so sad, but I still have many favorites. And how do you like my necklace? It's so festive. <laughs> so I present to you my favorites of summer 2017. Oh, First are my music favorites. So I've listened to a lot of Lord and the 1975 this month. Um, for the 1975, I've listened to The Ballad of Me and My Brain and Nana. Those songs are so amazing. Whenever I listen to the 1975, I always feel like I'm in one of their music videos. And yes, I've also listened to a lot of Lord, mainly from her like recent album, Melodrama. I really like the song Perfect Places. I'm obsessed with that song. And yeah, the music video recently came out for it as well. And the music video is kind of interesting, but kind of confusing. But the songs are just amazing. Check it. Check it. I mean it. I mean it. And for you people who love 90s music, you should listen to Misery by the Moffats. I think that's how you pronounce it. Moffats. Yeah. I really love it. It's like a true rock out song. So if you like that, listen. Listen to it. Moving on to fashion favorites. I recently got these overalls from the store Blue Notes. I think once things start transitioning into the fall, they'll be great to wear. <laughs> Sorry, I am like so weird. But hey, you gotta love voiceovers, right? Next is this black t-shirt that says Strange Futures on the front. It caught my eye because it had a flower on one side of the t-shirt and an explosion on the other. I love the design and best of all, it was in the men's section. To be honest, men's clothing can have the best designs on them. It's true, it's true blue. And the last clothing item is this Rolling Stones t-shirt. I love collecting these kinds of retro t-shirts, especially when they have a great band on the front. Oh, and both of the t-shirts are from Blue Notes as well. Now we're on to lifestyle favorites. My first lifestyle favorite is the movie I Am Sam. This movie has a really strong message in it and it actually made me cry. Like, that never happens. Well, rarely, you know. You know it's a good movie when it makes you cry. <laughs> So the story is about a mentally challenged man named Sam who is trying to raise his daughter Lucy. And once the story progresses, Lucy gets older and starts to gain more intelligence than her father. So the relationship is then threatened when a social worker wants to put Lucy in foster care because he thinks Sam isn't capable of raising his own child. And it's so sad, but like such an amazing story and it, it's so powerful. Oh. The movie was recommended by a friend of mine and now I'm recommending it to you guys because it is really great. Trust me. Another favorite of mine are these fairy lights that hold Polaroids. I got them from the store Winners and they're really easy to hang up and they have little clips so you can hang little Polaroids or photos or any kind of art that you want to hang up. Next thing is the Polaroid itself. This one is an Instax Mini 8 in light blue. It also has many light settings to take photos in. There have been two YouTubers that I've discovered that I've really loved this summer. One being La Madeline. Her channel consists of a lot of vlogs, tutorials, and lookbooks. And the other YouTuber is Alice Christiansen. She sings both covers and original songs. I'll put the two channels down in the description so you can check it out. My last summer favorite is the book The Outsiders. I haven't finished the book, but I'm so close and I've watched the movie so I know exactly what it's about. The book is a lot like the movie and it's really amazing. Like it says on the back, it is a heroic story about friendship and belonging, but also brotherhood. I think it was set to be in like the 60s or 50s when they had gangs and greasers. And the author was only 15 when she wrote it and it's so good. I'm gonna watch the movie again after I read the book because it's very intense and dramatic and I don't want to give too much away. It's the kind of book that's hard to explain, but you just have to read it or watch it. You can look up the summary online though, if you're really, really curious. It's around 180 pages, so if that's short for you, then great. But I'm like a really slow reader, so it's taken me all month, and I still haven't finished it yet, because it took a long break, but I am back into it, and I love it. And that is all my favorites for summer of 2017. If you guys have any favorites from this summer, comment down below, because I can check them out too. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye!